Hello YouTube, and this is Sean, and here's another species profile. I am just loving today. I'm making two videos. Let's see. Today it is on the Bolivian Ram Cichlid. You'll also see it as Bolivian Butterfly Ram, Butterfly Ram, Ruby Ram, Red Ram, Ruby Clown Cichlid. And it all has the same scientific name of Microgeophagus altispinosus. This fish hails from streams, pools, and lagoons of Bolivia and Brazil. It likes a temperature and a pH of 6.4 to 7, which is a pretty good range. I, I, I love it. Um... As adults, they get to be, males get to be three and a half inches. Females will get to be about two and a half to three inches. Juvenile picture that I have. Um, colors, they come in tan. They have a tan, orange, red, red, blue with black or gray with black crescent eyes. And you can kind of see the crescent over the eye in this picture. And on the t on its tail, you can see the bottom. You can see a little bit of orange. Sexual dimorphism. The only true way to tell the the sex of a Bolivian ram is to look at its vent, because Bolivian rams have been bred for the trade, but not many people really buy them because. I mean, they have the German ram to compete with, and everyone loves German rams. Um, because they've been, they were bred so much for color and how bright they are, there are females that have the color of males. And there are males that have, like, the faded color of females. There are females with square anal fins. There are males with rounded anal fins. The long extensions of males. So the only way to tell is to look at its vent. It's right, well, it's where it's, um, it's the exit for its sex organ. Um, females will have a cube shaped, um, let's see, right, if they aren't about to lay eggs, it'll be a cube shape right behind, right in front of their, let's see, yeah just in front of their anal fin backwards facing triangle shape um as you can see on here these are well they are cichlids of course and they lay their eggs on smooth rocks and random places in the tank some people have found them digging up their gravel or substrate and laying them directly on the glass at the bottom and I think that's pretty amazing how they would search for a place and end up digging up, digging up the substrate to find it. They do protect their fry, but it was seen that in some cases they'll lay the eggs and cover the eggs with, um, or cover the eggs up for about a day to relax and then come back and protect them. I think it's like some kind of resting period after all of the like mating that they've that they did to produce up to about like up to about 500 eggs so I could completely understand wanting to relax. Um let's see. These fish will in well, let's see, in temperament beyond breeding they're extremely peaceful, and my Bolivian rams would always just come to check out what I'm doing. And they'd swim by, and they'd just look at me. I'd walk in front of the tank, and they'd swim up to the top, beg for food. If you get them, they'll normally inhabit the... They'll inhabit wherever the highest plant goes. You will never see them just swim up to the top of the tank if there's nothing there. Um, they'll eat tablets, like, they, they'll eat algae tablets, little, though, some of them will eat flakes. Um, Julius ate flakes, Calpurnia didn't. 
Um, they like, and then I started feeding her. Um, as for so, as adults, it's best to keep them in monogamous pairs. You should never have more than two. More than two in a forty. Sorry, not forty. In a twenty-gallon tank. One could go in a 10-gallon, um, and that's pushing it. Um, let's see. Up to four years old, and you will definitely get a lot of time out of them. I mean, they're really interesting fish. They're fun to watch. They all have different personalities, as you saw with Julius and Calpurnia. They're easy to care for. As for breeding, there. <laughs> Once you find a pair that is compatible and will breed, it's pretty simple. From then, from then on, just let them keep keep going as much as they want. And like other cichlids, it'll be successful. Um, I rate it's like from everything I've read, I've got these fish as community safe. It's just, it's all individual because the fish themselves have personalities. Believe it or not, most people who own fish know know their fish has personality. It's a basic thing that you have to realize. And as for what type of water these fish live, I believe that is all the notes I have on Bolivian Ram. If you have any stories, if you've ever owned them, or even if you own them now, please comment or I really like this. I know I just like distracted myself, but this one, like, because the ones that I had, mine had red. This one is orange and yellow. I like it. And I'm a little mad because this is beautiful. And then I'll end you guys on this photo. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. I have a Twitter now. Yes, it's wonderful. Um, follow me on Instagram. Comment other fish you want me to do species profiles on. Just, just roll with it. Let it go. Like, yes, do this.